as you're viewing this video, we're thinking about Memorial Day. Memorial Day, the last Monday in the month of May, is dedicated to our time to remember those who have lost their lives in war and sacrificing for America. This video today, we're shooting up at the National Museum of the Marine Corps Field Chapel, the Semper Fidelis Chapel. It's very reminiscent of those chapels, those field chapels we saw in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. It's an appropriate place for us to think about Memorial Day. In this June issue of Leatherneck Magazine, we think we've covered uh, the Marine Corps story. We begin with an exclusive interview of the, with the departing Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Carlton Kent. He's been a wartime Sergeant Major, as you all know. He's been a great Sergeant Major. We're going to miss him, but we know that the Commandant has selected a replacement that will help us move forward. We wish Sergeant Major uh, Kent and his wife and his family the very best as they start the next adventure of their life. Adding to that, we have a story about the Marine pilot who was the Commandant's pilot in 1956. reminiscence of Bella Wood. Albert Graselli, retired Marine Major, was the Commandant's pilot who took General uh, Lemuel Shepard back to Bella Wood to dedicate a Felix de Weldon Memorial to the Battle of Bella Wood. It's a good little reminiscence thinking about what's going on in Bella Wood. June marks the anniversary of the Battle of Bella Wood. We also have an interesting story about a, a Marine pilot, quick draw pilot, pulled his 38 and shot a communist Chinese colonel before the communist Chinese colonel could, uh, could take any action. This is when they're, the Marine Corps are evacuating refugees out of the Washin prison camp in 1945. Good story of a Marine aviator. We think you'll like that. We add to that a story on the uh, construction, the renovation that's ongoing uh, at the Commandant's house, the home of the Commandant's. continuously inhabited a public building in Washington, D.C. It's a couple of hundred years old, needs a lot of rework, and it's just had that, a complete facelift. Good story written by a young Marine Corporal, Corporal Austin Hazard, who works at the Marine Barracks in Washington, D.C. There's uh, one we call No Alibis. This is a story of a Marine sergeant, lost his leg, lost his eye, didn't quit, and he's excelling on the Marine Corps combat shooting team. No alibis. We hope you like that and all the other things we have to offer in our June issue. Looking forward to July, it's the 70th anniversary of the Marines going to Iceland. So we have an article there by Cliff Cormier. Cliff was actually there, 1941. Interesting thing you'll see in this article is a lot of the young leaders, both NCO and young officers, you'll see later in the Marine Corps, 1965 and 66, as they assume leadership roles in the initial stages of the Vietnam War. Thank you for sticking with us. Let us hear from you. We can uh, be found on our website, www.leatherneckmagazine.com. And also check out our new blogs. We've got a blog site there and some several people who are signed up as our bloggers. We think you'll find their comments interesting. Thank you for support. Semper Fidelis. Once a Marine Then you are changed once a Marine, you'll never be the same. Cause some may never understand that I did not choose to die. My Marines pinned down, they needed cover fire, and they all came home. But me, I'm proud to claim.
submarine well, I took several rounds One submarine Still took that sniper out Well, I earned a silver star Daddy held it in his hand As they folded up my flag A bugler played taps Till my life.